Tony Minetta moved from the shabby area of the Bronx, New York to Miami, Florida with two friends, searching for wealth and success. One friend became prosperous over the next 20 years, owning luxury hotels, and is a promoter, while his younger friend drives a local taxi. Tony manages a small hotel called Garden of Eden. He grew up poor but spoiled, spending money on expensive suits and a Cadillac despite always being in debt and refusing to become more responsible. He is also a widowed father of an 11-year-old son named Alvin, nicknamed Ali, in debt, the rent five months in arrears. Tony is given 48 hours by his landlord, Abe Diamond, to raise $5,300 or else lose the hotel. In desperation, Tony calls his older brother Mario who owns and operates a clothing store and has already loaned Tony money multiple times. Tony lies and says he needs a loan because Ali is ill. Mario and wife Sophie promptly fly from New York City to Miami and discover the truth. In Mario's eyes, Tony is a bum who wastes money on fanciful dreams rather than honest. Hard work. He agrees to stake Tony the funds but only for a sensible small business. Not dreams of fancy hotels or casinos. Mario also sets him up with Eloise Rogers. A widow and an acquaintance of Sophie. Who is considered a more appropriate companion for Tony than his current girlfriend. Sherl. To his surprise. Tony is impressed with Eloise. Ali also takes an immediate liking to her. Mario offends her, however, with prying questions about her late husband's will and finances, causing Tony to confess why they were introduced. Eloise reveals to Tony that, having lost both her husband and son, she appreciates the notion of being with someone who needs her. The old childhood pal, Jerry Marks, now a wealthy promoter, invites Tony to a party. Pretending to be prosperous, Tony explains his scheme to buy land in Florida and open a second Disneyland there. Jerry seems interested in being his partner again. He takes Tony to a Greyhound racing track, where Tony uses the $500 he earned from selling his Cadillac to match Jerry's large bet. His dog wins but he lets it ride in the next race on a dog called Lucky Alley. The obvious desperation in Tony's voice as he roots for the dog to win indicates to Jerry that he is not a man of means. Jerry chastises him afterwards and tries to brush him off by insultingly handing him some cash. When Tony throws the cash handout back in Jerry's face, Tony is punched by one of Jerry's bodyguards. Literally a beaten man. Tony decides it would be best if Ali lived in New York with Mario and Sophie. Telling the unconvinced boy that he is unwanted. Tony goes off to the beach by himself. But Ali finds him. And soon Eloise happily joins them. Mario and Sophie decide to take a long overdue vacation.